Time to get back on the horse, I think is the phrase they use. Um, hello. Welcome back to the Gaming Pantry. This is the Retro Bear. And a, another thrilling pickups episode. This time, what Mrs. Bear's picked up, because I picked up absolutely nothing since <laughs> I last spoke to you. Well, I picked up two things. This is mostly Mrs. Bear's pickups. As we all know, Mrs. Bear drives the channel. Um, you know, people only tune in to, to listen to what she's been up to. Um, anyway, hope you're well. Nice to see you back here once again. And um, yeah, so we, we got, we've got a fair little bit of stuff. Got some games to show you, got some consoles to show you, uh, some prizes to show you, and some 3D Blu rays as well. So um, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll crack on with that. Um, before I start, I haven't forgotten, I meant to be doing this competition, wasn't I, where you win £15 of my money to go and spend it on whatever you fancy, I don't know. Um, games would be good, uh, if not fuel, prostitutes, gigolos, I don't know, whatever you fancy, 15 quid of my money. Yes, I'll do that in the next video, because uh, I'm still thinking about how to do it, but uh, I haven't forgotten, just in case people think I have forgotten. Uh, I haven't. Uh, right, so uh, let's... Uh, uh, so I'm recapture. Let, let, let's talk about first thing uh, that uh, Mrs. Mrs. Bear won a competition. Oh yeah, Mrs. Bear, Mrs. Bear. Yeah, she she um, entered the RetroGames.co.uk competition, which is very very simple. All you have to do is simply watch a video and comment on it. Not most competitions work, and your name is randomly selected at random. That makes any sense whatsoever. And uh, and lo and behold, a couple of weeks ago, she did actually manage to win uh, one of uh, our good friend Jason's uh, prizes, which was great. So. Uh, she got one of these, which is... <laughs> she really wanted this. Um, before I turn myself off. Uh, yeah, she uh, might not be a bad idea, actually. I'll just do it in mine. You can try and work out what she got. She, she won one of these. It's one of these original retro games t-shirts, which I think have been in storage for about 10 years. Um, there we go. So uh, she won one of those. She's very happy to have one. A couple of people have got these now. They don't give these out. You have to win them, I think. Um, and give them away. So uh, she's won one of those. Now, part of the, the actual prize itself was to. Oh, there we go, just moving some stuff around. Um, was actually to win a game. There's a game which it gives away odd bits and pieces, but it gives away a game with a. Uh, you know, something attached to it in terms of uh, a special, uh, a specialty or something quite rare or collectible and, and, and what have you. And um, uh, she won this. Um, which is, uh, it's a VIC-20 game, which I think is the first time we've ever shown a VIC-20 off, a game off on this channel. Because I haven't got one. Or so I thought. Uh, so she won this, which is, um, <laughs> i try and get this pronounced right. Metagalactic Llamas Battle at the Edge of Time. Now there's a game title and half, isn't it? There we go. Um, so this is on the VIC-20. You won't see any screenshots or anything like that. And um, it has got, as you are interested, we've got a manual, and it's got a, well, it's got the instructions. It used to be called instructions back in the day, not a manual, and the tape as well. Now this um, was programmed uh, by uh, Jeff Minter, who was a very famous programmer back in the early days of microcomputing, and this is actually from Jeff Minter's personal uh, stock. I think years ago, Jason said he, he, he bought basically. Uh, uh, Mr. Minter had a lot of stuff left over, and he sold it to Jason as job lots. This is actually one of Jeff Minter's originals. Which is rather a nice, nice thing, little, little thing to have. Um, and of course, my immediate reaction was, we haven't got a VIC-20 to play it on. Well, lo and behold, unbeknownst to me, oh God, we've got one of these apparently. I know, I just, I, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've got a VIC-20 colour computer, which is great because uh, my stepmom a couple of years back said she threw us down the tip. Um, and he said, with sound and music, it was a top of sound and music, take that spectrum. Uh, users. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I didn't realise we had one of these. I, I had absolutely no idea at all, and it's just appeared out of the cupboard. So she took the game. Um, I mean, I haven't got any intention of playing it at all. I don't know. We've got a couple of cartridges knocking about downstairs, which oh, I thought was for um, decoration purposes. I don't know. But yeah, so she won that T-shirt, and um, there we go. So maybe one day we'll get her some footage of Mrs. Bear playing it. That would be good, wouldn't it? We'd like to see her do that. Um, yeah, so she had a, a bit of pulled a bit of a blind off with that one. So thank you very much to Jason for the uh, the, the, the prizes on her behalf. I think she's uh, thrilled to have won them. She, I, I don't get any luck like this. You know, I've been 
sitting there thinking recently about you know what what a what a strange sort of few weeks it's been and perhaps i should give um stacy solomon a call because she's got that program you know sort your life out and then i thought well actually you know my life would be pretty bad if i'm going to give stacy solomon a ring to make my life better so i decided not to so i won't be on television anytime soon um <laughs> so that was that i was a couple of weeks back then a couple of weeks ago as well uh i had a couple of people pop round to uh, once again join me on a local games hunt uh, so it's a nice welcome big game al gernaldinho plays and the inked northerner uh, to the bear residence once again getting quite regular here now i don't have a, don't have a guest book for people to sign when they come in um if i only thought al was coming i had absolutely no idea anybody else was coming and then uh, gernaldinho phoned me during the week to talk to me about something else and he said um, well you know i'm coming on saturday don't you i was like no he said isn't al mentioned it no and then Saturday morning, while we're waiting for Alan and Rob to turn up, the doorbell goes and there's Paul on the doorstep. He goes, I've got the right Saturday, haven't I? I said, yes. He said, do you know I was coming? I said, no. Did I not tell you? No. Is it pattern developing here? You can say, no. So, um, yeah, so it was, nice to have, it was nice to have a house full of people, uh, which was great. So we did a uh, vintage game where we did old school gaming, which was the re, uh, week after the relaunch. It was nice to see uh, what Richard's done with the place across the road. Brand spanking clean new premises really really good look really does look good in there of course into the hidden chest lot we always do as well on a saturday so pop around those three local gaming stores uh i don't think al's buying anything at the moment he's got got a green spine attached to it i think he bought a couple of controllers um and i know rob's done a pickups video from it and paul hasn't done one yet so i don't want to spoil them for that i know in fact i didn't even see what paul got in fact i had to watch, had to watch rob's pickups videos to find out what rob had bought i, I don't know no idea um and I didn't get much actually. I got I got two things that day, which is a bit of disappointing um, total really. But I, I wasn't really feeling it. I mean, it's 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 hard now to go into some of these places and and just I don't know. I don't know whether it's a point where I've got I've got I've got enough, or I don't need to buy things every time I go. I, I look round now and I'm sort of thinking, yeah, you know, do I do I really need to to, to spend any money on stuff anymore? I don't know. Um, it's a bit, I, I'm, I, yeah, I'm looking around now, I'm just surrounded by it, and I'm like, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't need to, and, and when I was looking around, it wasn't as if I was looking for anything in particular, I was just looking on the shelves and just seeing what was there, and there was no pattern to it, so it's really weird. But I ended up with a couple of Mega Drive games, why did I buy a couple of Mega Drive games? Well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think because I, I know one of them I, I've, I've played, the other one was relatively cheap, so that, that's why I picked it up anyway. Uh, so I got, uh, first of all, um, a Blue Spine. Well, I think I had this on the PlayStation 1. I'm thinking... It was on the PlayStation 1 the Mega Drive, I can't remember anyway. Um, but I thought I'd have this. It was marked up at 8 quid, so I thought that's not too bad. And it's Street Racer. I mean, it's not anything special. Um, but it's got the hang tab in place and I opened it up I mean again you know look, I can't say oops but I move that around because I'll have Stuart will have a seizure um, oh yeah there's a, it's got the manual in here as well got manual and cartridge you know, in very nice condition there's actually a bit of paper behind there now it's an interesting one oh, bit of paper bit of paper bit of paper oh yeah someone's put some codes on there as well oh blimey there we go it only worked for Hipkiss Brothers back in the day and recognise this. Yeah. What is that? Hipkiss Brothers Glinwed Screw and Fastings Limited. Oh, they were based in Hells, I mean. Well, that's interesting. It's an order sheet. Well, someone's actually written some codes down on there for some, I think, uh, cheat access or something like that. Well, that's interesting. I'm going to have to look that up now. I'm trying to think of a Hipkiss and something around here. There was one, the Hipkiss. Oh, anyway, there we go. That, that's 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 sort of completely sidetracking the video. I mean, it's it's it's, a, it's in good condition. Yes, I pay eight quid for it. I lost. I played it back back when it came out. I quite enjoyed it, uh, but I still can't remember what format I played it on. Probably PlayStation. I'm already getting confused with Speed Freaks. I don't know. Another one I picked up as well, and this was priced at a fiver. It's not the greatest condition, but who cares? Um, Mega Drive games box for a fiver. Space Harrier two. Um, I don't know why I bought this one, probably because I hadn't got it or played it before. I don't know, but again, it comes complete. You know, decent looking manual cartridge. It's got the old uh, Sega sticker on the side as well. That's good, I haven't got a Sega sticker on the side of it. No. 
well, for a probably tea at my teeth at the same time. And there's a few dents in the back, I think, which probably make some indentations and things. They'd all be to the but I ain't really bothered about that but yeah I mean so uh, that, that was 13 quid which I did him for a 10 which I thought was very decent of him thank you once again Richard not be, not be too long before I come and see you again um, but yeah so I, yeah, I just wasn't in the mood you know I thought well I've got to buy something because the lads have made a special journey um, so I thought well I'll pick those up because I don't usually get box Mega Drive games I think the last one I bought was Joe Montana's Sports Talk Football purely because it was nostalgic like probably Street Race or Hmm. Coffee after half past eight in the evening, bro. I should be awake all night. Uh, so I got that, um, and then I was, as, as we know, Mrs. Bear's a bit of a Blu ray 3D aficionado. She's got so many of these now. We keep, I keep buying them at Christmas. I'm going to run out sooner or sooner or later. The well is going to run dry, and I'm going to run out of 3D films to pick up for her for Christmas and birthday. Usually get her a handful and say, There you go, you haven't got those. And, uh, it was a bit of a disaster at Christmas because I thought I was buying The Lion King on 3D and it turned out to be just basically the bog standard copy which has really cheesed me off. But, I mean, they're, they're not particularly expensive. Some of them, a couple of them are, but not particularly expensive. Or, but they are hard to find and, and track down. And even on the CX website, they're, they're quite prominent on there and most relatively cheap. And I think she's got most of the ones that she wants. I just keep finding old ones here and there which she hasn't got and buying them for her. Um, so you've got, well, you got nearly 100 now. This is why it was so important a few months ago to get a new 3D telly, because otherwise we'd have nothing to watch it on. Uh, so I'll just uh, show you these off here. Um, what we got first of all, so... Um, in fact, I, I remember I, I owe Paul three quid for this, because Paul... <laughs> I hadn't got any change, so uh, cut these who came out of the charity shop, so Paul very kindly lent me three quid, so I haven't forgotten, Paul. I'll, 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 I'll uh, refund you, we'll get you a drink when I see you next time. Uh, so first we've got is Disney film, this is Tangled, which came out of a charity shop for a quid. It's a Tangled 3D. Um, I mean, there's not an awful lot to show you, really, in there. Um, there's a 3D disc and a Blu-ray, so I'm not going to bother showing you that. Uh, I think it's mostly the Disney one she hasn't got. She's got a couple of them. I've bought a couple of these for her now. Um, but I'm going to keep adding these as we go along and pick them up for her. Uh, this one was two quid out of a another charity shop. I was reading about it earlier in the week, because apparently uh, this is meant to be one of the best... Um, 3D films, and he said it was one of the top five 3D films for that effect and, and how well it was done. Which, when you consider it's from Steven Spielberg and Peter Jackson, it wouldn't surprise you, would it? Really? So, it's the invention of Tintin, which I believe I've got uh, the Wii game of. Uh, I've never actually seen this one. This actually does come with three discs, so I think we've got in here the Blu ray, uh, we've got the uh, DVD, and we've also got the special features disc as well. Um, so we've got the Blu-ray, the 3D, and the special disc. So yes, that's, that's, uh, that's a nice little setup. Well, that's two quid that was. Um, I think it's about what you put. Maybe it goes for like one fifty or something like that. I don't think I've actually saved much on those two anyway. And then the other ones I picked up, which were just in CEX, went to my local CEX after walking around seven charity shops, which produced absolutely nothing other than a couple of Blu-rays. I think Paul bought a DVD, and um, that was that was for his um, nephews, I think. Uh, and Rob's got some blind bags, which he did a video about last week, or this earlier on this week. Uh, charity shops were absolutely deathly. It was painful, it really was. Uh, I, I, I thought a couple of weeks ago, again, perhaps start going out and do the charity shops, because people would be reported that they're finding the odd bargain here, and they thought, I do miss you know, a, a bit of a time out on a Saturday morning, walking around on my own couple of hours, and my God, it was Deathly, it really was. There was hardly any games. What games there were were FIFA. Um, if you get if you want to collect FIFA games, fine. You know, not knocking the fact there were games there. This just, just weren't many, and it was all just generic stuff. Um, and it made me sort of think, you know what? I've missed absolutely probably been a year since I started doing that. A year since I started doing the charity shops. And I thought, yeah, I, I don't really feel like them, you know. Do I feel? I, I felt like it last Saturday. I was sitting there at work on Friday. I thought, you know what? I'll make an effort. Go out Saturday morning. Go to a couple of places I haven't been for, been to for a very long time. And I woke up Saturday morning. I thought, I can't be bothered. I really can't be bothered. Don't think it's worth the hassle. What else we got next? We've got a slipcase. This one. In fact, I think we upgraded our, our copy of the first film with a slipcase a couple of weeks back. Uh, this is uh, Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdoms on 3D. 
Uh, not particularly a film I, uh, I I have much fondness for. In fact, I'm not a particularly big fan of anything apart from the first one. Uh, but yeah, we've got we got we've got the first one on 3D. We've now got Jurassic World on 3D, and now Fallen Kingdom on 3D. So that's good. Uh, then we've got the uh, two Fantastic Beast films, which I know absolutely nothing about. Um, so we've got this one here, Fantastic Beasts, and the Where to Find Them. It's from the Harry Potter universe, so I honestly really couldn't care less. Uh, <laughs> but I know Mrs. Bear is a big fan of these. Um, and uh, this one is the uh, the Crimes of Grindelwald. And there we go. It's got a slip case on it as well. So I think no, I think Jurassic thingy was two pounds, and I think one of these was three pounds, the other one was four pounds. This was yeah, those from CEX. And then the last one I picked up as well. This I never found this before. I've always been very intrigued to find it, but I've never been lucky enough to come across it actually uh, in a shop before, which is weird. It's also got the slip case as well, so that's always a good thing. Um, I think it's just like two quid, or three quid, uh, Wonder Woman, 3D. The first one, not the 1980 thingy 3 one, which was all right, but I, I preferred this one. And of course, um, Gal Gadot. So, um, yes, so I picked that up as well, but that, that, that's, you know, I don't think it's a hard one to find, it's just, I just never see it, I see the standard version, but never see the 3D one, so, yeah, some more 3D Blu-rays, was it seven, six, six, there we go, so, plus, you know, a, a prize, that's eight pickups from Mrs. Bear, two for me in this video, and then finally, there's another one as well, I can't remember where she got this from, I'm just trying to do this without having to bend down again so you can see the top of my head, but I may have to, right, um, yeah, I think she... It was on eBay, I think it was. It was listed as not working properly. Um, or something wrong with it anyway. And it's missing the controller, which we have since added. We bought the controller off eBay as well. I think I said we. She bought the controller off eBay. So I think she paid about 35 for this. So I think with the controller, it's about 45, 50 quid she's paid as a bundle, as a combined lot. But um, she's picked one of these up and hopefully we can get it turned around. It's in pretty pretty good condition. Uh, it doesn't have any of the games with it, sadly. Um, but she picked up a red Wii. The 25th anniversary Mario one. Now, um, I have this game, which is up there. I think it was donated one by a very, very good friend, Ryan, Mr. Video Game Pirate, UK Video Game Pirate, who sent that to me. Well, he sent it to me via Dana to, to Blackpool last year. Uh, so, um, so it's the 25th one. It includes Super Mario Brothers Wii, uh, which I've already got, and Wii Sports, but also Donkey Kong's built in as well. So, yeah, I'll actually, actually, obviously, this is, oh, sorry, I'm getting, getting, getting it all mixed up, aren't I? It's been ages since I've done one of these. This is, this is the new Super Mario Brothers Wii pack, so it's got actually have the cardboard versions of Wii Sports and new Super Mario Brothers Wii in there, and also Donkey Kong as well, so the fact that it doesn't, it doesn't really bother me, but yeah, so we've also since then bought the red Wii, Wii Mote and Wii Nunchuck thing to go with it. So yeah, but that nice box that one, which now gives me a boxed black and a boxed red one. So yeah, not bad that is really, it's quite, I, might, I may go for a blue one, just have all three. Well, the one I, one I haven't got boxed is the white one. I've got four of them, eh? one, one of them boxed. So there we go, put that down there. Oh. And then, yeah, th th that's it really. Yeah, sorry about it. It seems relatively short for a retro bear video, but, but not a lot to pick up really, is there? Um, I'll just show you these off as well, because we just try and chuck one of these in. Oh, uh, we still got uh, just under. Where are we now? Two weeks to go. In fact, we're just under, nearly up to a week to go now. Black Country Games Fair. I will plug it once again. On behalf of uh, Danester at Hidden Chest Gaming. Coming to you from uh, the Arena Combat Archery Centre in Briley Hill. Sunday the 26th of February. Um, I think there's still some early bird tickets. There aren't many. Um, if I think I know that to add a few extra. So uh, if you are interested, early bird tickets cost you two quid. Uh, free entry after 11 o'clock. I think the event runs till about four in the afternoon. There's about 20 traders or so, I think, most of them locally. Um, and, yeah, definitely worth going along to. Uh, www.blackcountryevents.com. There will be a link in below. If you are in the... I know there's some people coming from uh, far and wide for this, this particular event, so that's fantastic. Um, and that's great. And also a quick plug as well for Mrs. Bear's Retro Repair Bear... Um, 
repair service, moderations, um, servicing, etc. Uh, go to retrorepairbear.co.uk. I've not been paid to say this. Um, I'm just doing it because, well, I have to live with her. And, you know, if I don't plug it, then... But thank you to everybody who has plugged the business. Thank you everybody who's got in touch. Uh, she's on Instagram as well, Retro Repair Bear on Instagram. Uh, very popular. She puts lots of uh, repair um, photographs and progressions and things she's working on there as well. So if you do get to it, I think the website at the moment is still um, not live, but it will be coming soon. But you can go there and there is a link to the email if you want to get in contact. Anything that you want, uh, repairing, recaps, cleaning, uh, keyboard servicing, cassette decks, floppy disk servicing, modifications, if you want to get your consoles modded, uh, Mrs. Bear is the person to speak to. Don't speak to me about it. I have absolutely no idea. Go and speak to the organ grinder. Don't speak to the monkey. I think that's how we that's how you phrase it, really. Um, yeah, and 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 that's that's about it, really. Um, just a, 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 we ran up very very quickly. Thanks to everybody who got in contact over the last few weeks or so. Um, been appreciated. I, I don't want to I don't want to keep drawing on it, but it was great. Thanks to everybody who came along to the last TMB podcast, um, which we did. Uh, just under two weeks ago that was a, a really good one really really special really enjoy that one we're back again this sunday i i think i don't even know what we're doing <laughs> i don't even know i haven't even thought about it yeah we've got one on sunday haven't we sunday the 19th of february eight o'clock on this channel come along we'll be doing something there might be some of us there there might be one of us there i don't know uh, that'll be good and like i said next video i'll do which is related to anything i've picked up or just a video in general we will be giving away that 15 quid we will be giving away that 15 quid to one of you lucky people uh well i've still got to think of a cunning way to try and make you work for your 15 quid keeps me awake at night things like that i think it'll be too taxing but yeah just 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 a way of making you work a little bit harder for it oh yeah i don't give money away lightly you know if <laughs> Obviously, it doesn't go to my clothes, does it? You know, thinking in my Moomin's t shirt. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Thanks very much indeed for watching. Um, it's always appreciated. Um, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Until then, do take care. Bye for now.